I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. Do you ever find yourself wondering what to do with all sorts of notes that are empty? This is something that a lot of people run into. They wonder how to delete empty mems or they think it's a problem, but believe it or not, empty mems can actually become an invaluable part of your network of personal knowledge and be really useful knowledge assets. And what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to use empty mems to actually add more and more useful knowledge to your mem note-taking database and your network of personal knowledge. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Now, let's get to the tutorial. What I wanna talk about in this video is the value of actually having empty mems. Uh, for a lot of people, this becomes really concerning because they're worried that they have a bunch of notes that have nothing in them, which is pretty normal if you are coming from a sort of hierarchical system like using folders or any other sort of hierarchy because you would never create a folder unless you intend to store some sort of file in it or it already has files that you're planning on storing in it. And believe it or not, empty mems can actually be a really valuable part of your entire knowledge of network and become really useful assets as long as you understand how to use them correctly. So one key concept that I talk about in Maximize Your Output is something called a knowledge generation cycle, which basically consists of three stages, which are a critical mass of knowledge, a sufficient mass, and an abundance of knowledge. Abundance is usually going to be 5,000 plus mems. And why does this matter? First, because of the fact that a mem is a network-based tool and every note in your mem database is not a note in a database, but a node in a network, every note that you add, even if it's empty, actually expands the size of your network. And so as you expand the size of your network, you're going to have much more opportunities to make connections between your ideas, use content in other notes, uh, and eventually be able to create at the speed of thought. So basically what these empty mems do is they actually accelerate this knowledge generation cycle. And believe it or not, this is something I'd mentioned in a previous video, but I have a lot of notes where there's nothing in the mem, but they were bi-directional links that I added from other mems. And the thing is that people get worried about this and they think, oh, I have all these empty mems, but if you actually do them properly, empty mems can actually become a invaluable part of your knowledge network. And what I find myself doing often is I will make connections to different notes and I'll notice that even though I'll use it in a new note, I'll end up linking to a note that has nothing in it. But the beautiful thing about that is that you can actually develop these ideas when you're ready. So let's talk about some use cases and instances for how we can actually leverage the benefits of empty mems. One of the, the big benefits of bidirectional links, or what I think are the three big benefits of bidirectional links is that they first allow you to just capture ideas as they occur, because we all know that ideas don't come to us linearly while you're working on an idea for one thing, you're always going to have an idea for something else. And so the beautiful thing about bidirectional links is that we can actually use them within an existing note, capture an idea and not disrupt our workflow, and then go develop that idea when we're ready. And the other reason this is important is because of the fact that Mem is a network-based tool and everything is associated, the more notes that you have, even if they're empty, the more you're going to have opportunities to make connections between your ideas. And finally, when you use bi-directional links, you're actually able to retrace the line of thought that sparked the idea that you had. A lot of us have had these moments where we'll write something down. It sounds really good when we write it down, but then when we go back and revisit it, we don't know why we wrote it down or what it was about. And bi-directional links are a really great way to help you look back at what sparked the idea to begin with. So for example, I had the idea for this video based on a note that was titled The Value of Empty Mems, and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to talk about this week. And I remembered that I had written a message in the Slack group about empty mems, and it was one of the more popular things I had written in the Slack group. It was like a mini blog post. And so I thought, okay, this would be a good idea for uh, a video. So let's get into uh, some examples here. So I was reading a new book this morning uh, called Peak Mind. And one of the things that the author had talked about were the three things that allow you to put things into your memory or store things in long-term memory, like how something becomes a long-term memory. Now, what's interesting about this is that it made me think of this idea that, oh, you know what, that would explain why smart notes are so good for helping you remember what you learn. So in this case, I'm just going to say something like, you know what, the benefit of taking smart notes is that they force you 
to rehearse, elaborate, and consolidate. And so this idea of rehearse, elaborate, and consolidate was actually a note from another book called Peak Mind that was written by a woman named Misha Jha. And so I thought to myself, right when I read that note and I was rereading it this morning, I thought, oh yeah, this is exactly why smart notes help you remember and learn. Because the first thing you do when you write things in your own words, you end up rehearsing. And then in addition to this, smart notes force you to ask questions that encourage elaboration. And as you make connections between your ideas and other people's ideas, what ends up happening is that you consolidate all that information. Now. Let's say, for example, I wanted to expand on this note and I might have a thought here that says, you can see here, even this make connections between your ideas and other people's ideas. So notice how this note has absolutely nothing in it. And yet I somehow was able to use it in an existing note. And that's the magic of empty mems is the more that you do this, it doesn't really matter if there's nothing in here. But the key thing here is the title. The fact is that it is a title that I could use in a way that I could embed into another sentence. So we'll talk about that here in just a second. The other way that we can use empty mems is we can actually just capture ideas as they occur to us throughout the day. And that's one of the beautiful things about mem spotlight. So for example, I could say, I'm just going to, in this case, do something different here, skip the mem spotlight. So another thing that we can do throughout the day, for example, when we're working in mem is we can use mem spotlight, or we can just jot down random thoughts and ideas. I could say, for example, how to become a workflow genius, because I'm starting a new a small business called WorkflowGenius.ai. So I could just write that down as an idea. Or at the moment, I could link it to something, but chances are it'll show up anyways. But it doesn't really matter. But what matters most here when it comes to these empty mems is something that I've talked about before in a previous video, and that is titles. Titles are vitally important inside of mem. Not only do they make the AI for smart write and edit work better because your titles are effectively up top of the hierarchy of how you organize information in mem. They matter a lot more than tags. In fact, they matter almost more than anything else because your titles effectively are what make it possible to make connections between your ideas so that you can embed links to notes and other sentences. So for example, I've seen a lot of people who might have a note that doesn't have a title or it's just a, a random just blob of text. And that is actually not particularly useful when you want to be able to make connection between different maps. It's fine if all you want is the information, but if you want to be able to connect different pieces of information, it helps a lot to have really good titles. So just to recap, the value of empty mems lies in the fact that they basically allow you to get through this three stage part of the knowledge generation cycle and get to a critical mass or sufficient mass faster than if you were worried about having a piece of content in every single note. And the way we can do that is we can capture ideas as they occur. So when you're writing something, you can use a bi-directional link because often even one phrase or one sentence inside of an, one note will actually be a great content for another note. And what you can do is you can just capture these ideas as they occur and then develop them when you're ready. And then bi-directional links allow you to retrace the thought process. So for example, if we go back to this smart notes, help you remember idea, and I go back to make connections between other people's ideas and we look here. Eventually what you'll see is that this note is actually linked to all these different notes. You can see here that it's mentioned in all these different notes. So I have an idea of why I thought of this uh, note, you know, where it came from and how I might use it in the future. This is why titles are so vitally important. So to recap, you can basically get through the knowledge generation cycle and actually capitalize on the value of empty mem. So you don't have to worry if there's anything in your notes when you capture them. This is why you can capture ideas as they occur, develop them when they're ready, and then use bi-directional links to retrace what gave you that idea in the first place. You can also use Mem Spotlight for capturing different ideas, whether it's for blog posts, maybe it's for random thoughts. And ideally what you want to do is you want to give every note a title and then title the notes the way you title your thoughts, because I think that is the easiest way to find them when you're looking for them in the future. So what I find often when I'm using bi-directional links while I'm writing is I'm actually not searching for a note. I'm just searching the thoughts that I had because of the fact that I am sure that I might have a note titled that way. And when I don't, it's a perfect opportunity to create a new note, even if there is nothing in your notes. So to recap, don't underestimate the value of empty mems. They can be incredibly beneficial. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.